بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس فار ٹوڈے ٹاپک دا میکینزم آف بریدنگ دس از لیکچر نمبر فور آف یونٹ نمبر ٹین سو لیٹ اسٹارٹس بریدنگ وٹ از بریدنگ ایٹ دا اسٹارٹ آف دا چیپٹر وی ہیو اے لٹل بٹ ڈسکس اباؤٹ بریدنگ ٹیکنگ ان اینڈ لیٹنگ آؤٹ آف دا ایئر دیٹ از کال بریدنگ so there are two phases of breathing the first one is inspiration it is also called inhalation and the second one is called expiration that is also called exhalation so let discuss first of all inspiration inspiration it means to take uh, air inside that is called inspiration now inspiration the following steps are involved in inspiration contraction of diaphragm you can see here that what is diaphragm diaphragm is actually a muscular partition between the thoracic cavity and the abdominal cavity so this diaphragm it contract so with it contract so it become flat you can see here that is the contracted form of their diagram and it become flat the second date is contraction of intercostal muscle what is intercostal muscle the muscle between the ribs they are called intercostal muscles so when intercostal muscle contract so the next that is expansion of rib cage because of the contraction of the intercostal muscle the rib cage move outward and upward because of this activity of the contraction of diaphragm and the contraction of the intercostal muscles and the expansion of rib cage the volume inside this rib cage in the thoracic cavity it increase so when the volume increase so these lungs they expand and the next that is the pressure change so with the volume of the thoracic cavity increase so pressure inside the lungs they decrease as compared to the outside atmospheric pressure so the air uh, rush inside the lungs and this is called inspiration the next phase that is expiration this is almost totally opposite to the inspiration and that is the exhale of carbon dioxide from the body into the air is called expiration of the removal of the air from the lungs to outside that is called expiration so the following steps are involved that is almost totally opposite to the inspiration relaxation of the diaphragm so this is diaphragm the diaphragm relax and it uh, come to its normal position and that is dome shape so it push the lungs from downward the next one there is relaxation of intercostal muscle so when the intercostal muscle relax so uh, the rib cage uh, uh, contract the next there is a rib cage contract because of uh, this uh, relaxation of intercostal muscle and rib cage move inward and downward so because of these two activities they decrease the volume inside the chest cavity so uh, when the volume uh they decrease in the chest cavity so the pressure change the pressure are increase inside the lungs so when it uh, exert pressure on the lungs so uh, the air is ex- exhaled because outer atmospheric pressure that is less and in the lungs the pressure is more so the air the carbon dioxide that come out from the body through mouth are the Uh, nostril uh, uh, the nostril of the nose so this was uh, the end of lecture number 4 of unit number 10